Well, we're here at Dynamic Automotive in Urbana. It is the eighth annual car and truck show, just starting in just a few minutes. We have a lot of cars already here, and it's going to be a great show. First of all, it's a charity benefit. Secondly, it's a great time to come out and see Dynamic Automotive, see their nine-bay facility for repairs, their four-bay quick lube, and also their 60-foot car wash. And, of course, a great time to win things also. We have a lot of vendors here today. You're going to have a good time. With me, surrounding me, the three guys from Dynamic Automotive. I'm Dave Sirio from WFMD's You Ought to Know, and this is Jose. Jose, one of the partners of Dynamic Automotive. Tell us a little bit about what's going on Dyna at, right here at Dynamic. <laughs> We're having a benefit car show today. All the proceeds will, will go to the Urbana Marching Band, and we have about 80 cars now on the lot, and we usually get 100 to 120 hot rods, exotics, and antiques. We also have some great food going on out here. Big Bobby Allen is cooking up a storm out there. If we weren't in the automotive business, we'd be in the restaurant business. But it's a <laughs> lot of fun here today. If you can, come on out. Yes, Big Bobby Allen. Yes, his name should be on the side of a NASCAR. That's what I say. Dwayne, a lot of things going on here today for charity, of course. We've got a lot of beautiful cars. But we also have the Golden Gears Car Club. Yes, they, uh, they've they been with us for all eight years. They, they help organize the event. They, they help bring, they, they promote it, bring out the cars, uh, make it a success. Uh, without them, we wouldn't be able to, to get the cars here, which in turn brings the people out to raise the money for the high school marching band. And if you've been here before, don't let that slow you down from coming up again this year because I see a lot of different cars here this year than we've ever had. There's a guy with a 59 Chevy Impala that just got finished the eight-year restoration, and it is one of the prettiest cars I've seen in a long time. So you've got to come on out and see these cars. Now, Lee, you're also one of the original partners because you started, along with Jose, the original building in, in um, let's see, Newmarket. Newmarket, exactly, the two-bay shop. And uh, this is a big difference between the two-bay shop and a nine-bay shop, but you guys do the same identical work at all, three loca all four locations. We've structured our business to try to, to match everybody no matter where you go. You get the same great service, you get the same level of technical skill, and you get the same great people that you get to deal with every day. Matter of fact, our logo is where customers become friends because you're not really a customer to us. It's more of a relationship and a friendship we try to build with our customers, and we try to build superior service, and we want to lead the industry around here in this county, which I think we're trying to do right now with our just acquiring our fourth location. Or who knows, we may go nationwide. <laughs> there you go. That's exciting. Wow. Okay, so just new, brand new news for you, right? <laughs> I love it. I love to hear that kind of talk. Yeah. I'm pass exactly. Out. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, Dynamic Automotive has four locations in Frederick County. We have the Urbana location, the New Market location, Liberty Town, and the new one in Frederick on Bite Court. And that's doing very well. Yeah, that opened up in March. Bobby Allen is running that location, and they're doing a good job over there. They do foreign and domestic. They do car and truck and gas and diesel. They've got a 12,000-pound lift for all the heavy-duty stuff and a lot of general repair facility lifts in there, so they can handle most anything. The radio stations will be here. WFMD and WFRE just pulled in the lot. I'm Dave Serio from the show You All to Know. Airs every Saturday morning, 10 a.m. on WFMD. And these three guys, along with a lot of their employees, will be around here today. You're going to have a good time. It's from 12 to 3 at 8824 Urbana Church Road in Frederick, 21704. Make your way out 12 to 3 today. Hi, this is Dave Sirio from You All to Know, the radio show that airs every Saturday morning on 10 a.m. on Saturdays on WFMD. We're here at Dynamic Automotive in Urbana for the 8th annual Dynamic Automotive Car and Truck Show. With me is Paul. Paul has a distinct responsibility to run this whole operation when we're not having fun here on Sundays, right? Now, I, you, you didn't have any gray hair until you took over, right? <laughs> That's a fact. Yes. <laughs> Nine bays of just auto repair, four bays of quick lube, and then you have the 60-foot car wash. So it keeps you busy seven days a week. That's right. We, uh, I mean, basically, the car wash is the only thing open on Sundays, but the other six days of the week, Monday through Saturday, we are full service. And full service, BG products, you install Jasper engines, do all types of import and domestic auto repair, and you even do diesels. Correct. Absolutely. Uh, if it's hybrids, we pretty much work on anyth anything. 
Very good. It's a great location. If you haven't been out to uh, the Urbana location, you need to. It's one of the four locations that Dynamic Automotive has at 8824 Urbana Church Road in Frederick. It's a great time, but nobody loves auto repair. I mean, I'm in the auto repair business, and, you know, customers come because they have to. It's a situation like that, whether it's right. maintenance or repair. But you make it very pleasant for them. Yes, absolutely. Uh, our main goal is to service the customer, make them feel at home, and... You know, earn their trust. And that you do. And, of course, the logo here at Dynamic Automotive? When customers become friends. Absolutely. That is the goal. Paul is here at Dynamic Automotive six days a week at the car wash. She sometimes sends somebody over to keep an eye on the place. But you can meet Paul over here at Dynamic Automotive, 8824 Urbana Church Road in Frederick. I'm Dave Sirio from You Ought to Know. Hi, this is Dave Sirio from WFMD's You Ought to Know, every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. I'm with Denny, and Denny is with BG Products. And BG Products is a company that supplies chemicals and equipment to independent shops, dealers, franchise shops, in order to perform maintenance for the automobile. Tell some of the maintenance that BG performs. Uh, one of our uh, premier uh, services we do is we specialize in fluid exchange mainly. Uh, any type of vital fluid in your vehicle that needs service on a regular maintenance interval, we provide the chemicals and the equipment to do that with, along with uh, any fuel or oil deposit related situation you may have. We can uh, either eliminate that or control that. So we specialize in any fluids or vital exchanges you need in your vehicle. And we're we're at Dynamic Automotive today for its annual car show, and Big Bubba is here. Big Bubba is a 354-bolt main that you guys do foolishly run it out of oil mm -hmm. with the MOA, the motor oil protection. It's an interesting thing. you got to see it. I think the first showing is at 1 o'clock. Uh, whenever you guys schedule, we're ready to go. All right, Big Bubba, come and see it. Dynamic Automotive, 8824 Urbana Church Road in Frederick. Oh, we're rolling. That's a great time. I tell you that just when you're ready to start. Good morning, everybody. I'm Dave Sirio. From You All to Know, Saturday mornings, 10 a.m. on WFMD. And this big feller is from Jasper Engines and Transmissions and has been for how many years now? I'm coming up on 16. 16 years. If he could find a real job, he would, folks. It really would. Now, Jasper Engines and Transmissions, one of the reasons why you're so happy to be an employee of Jasper is what do the employees own at Jasper? In 2010, Jasper became 100% employee-owned. So now there's 2,000 people, almost 2,100 people, that are now all ownership. And that's a great feeling, isn't it? Oh, everybody has a stake in the game. Absolutely. So you, you, you want to build a quality product. And they do. Jasper Engines rebuilds, remanufactures, redesigns engines, transmissions, differentials. You do diesels, you do gas, you do uh, uh, nautical, all kinds of different engines and transmissions. Absolutely. Uh, we're coming up on 75 years. So Jasper was founded in 1942, and we've just seen expansion after expansion. And we now have uh, 25 acres under roof. Um, our new fuel component with turbochargers, injectors, fuel pumps is now taken off. So we are expanding one of the buildings to, to you know, get ready for the future because all the car lines are going turbocharged. So we're preparing for it. So we bought a couple of different turbo balancing machines to be able to balance the turbochargers. Uh, separately and then together as a unit. So it's just fantastic. For more information, visit jasperengines.com and visit your local Jasper dealer. I'm Dave Sirio. This is You Ought to Know, and we're at Dynamic Automotive in Urbana. Hi, this is Dave Sirio from WFMD's You Ought to Know, every Saturday morning, 10 a.m. automotive talk show. With me is Denny and Danny. They are the two BG guys, BG Products and Services, and behind them is Big Bubba. Big Bubba is a 350 General Motors four-bolt main engine that's been around since 1969. It's been on the back of this truck for years. And the weird thing about this engine is it loves to run on no oil. So what we're going to do is we're going to run it now with oil and MOA, motor oil additive from BG Products, that you should use every oil change to protect the inside of your engine. We're going to run it with oil and MOA. Let's get it started, guys. Now, while this runs, we're letting the oil go through the engine along with the product MOA, which stands for Motor Oil Additive. Now, once that is gone through for a few moments, we're going to turn the engine off and do something crazy. We're going to lower the oil pan, drain the engine out of oil, and then start and run it 
all that's protecting it is MOA, the motor oil additive. We're ready. Okay. By the way, I didn't point out the oil pressure at that time. It was running right around 50 pounds of oil pressure. Now we're going to take the oil pan down. The Denny and Danny crew, crew here is going to do that. They have special attachments. A little bit easier to do on this engine than it would be on your car. And as you see, when they drop the oil pan, you're going to see oil drop with it. And you're going to see the drips of the oil. Now that we have the oil pan down, engine oil is in the oil pan. What excess oil you're going to see in a few moments when it runs, it's going to fling a little bit all over the place. But MOA is in there. Gentlemen, let's start Big Bubba up. Okay, Big Bubba is running right now. The little bit of oil that is left in the engine, as you see, coming down into the oil pan right now, making a real good mess. The oil pressure, we'll get a shot of this, but right now the oil pressure is at zero. That's something you don't want to have happen in your automobile. Low oil pressure kills the bearings in the engine. That's what the demise is. The reason why this is still doing well is because it has the MOA oil protection. With every oil change, whether you use regular oil or synthetic oil, you should have a can of MOA put in your vehicle. Years ago, oil used to have a lot of protective measures in it. Now, not so much. That's why the MOA is so important. Zero oil pressure, still running, no oil in the engine. So for your next oil change, visit your BG dealer and ask for MOA motor oil additive added to your oil change. I'm Dave Serio for You Ought to Know, WFMD's You Ought to Know, 10 a.m. every Saturday morning. Okay, we'll do a temperature check on it to see how the engine's faring. We're at Dynamic Automotive in Urbana for their annual, eighth annual car show. It's every year at this time, the last Sunday in August, and we're at 8824 Urbana Church Road in Frederick. Right now it's running about 104, 105 mm -hmm. on the main cat. We'll let it run for a little bit and check it and see how Okay, it's that sounds good. 104 to 107, that's what we're talking about as far as temperature right now on the main caps of the bearings. Okay. There we go. MOA protected this engine. It had to run for at least, I'd say, five minutes. I'd say, yeah. Yeah, four to five minutes. So you guys could time us on the video, but I think it was somewhere around five minutes, and it ran without oil. Take the temperature right now, just see what it's doing. 108, 110, yep, going a little higher. Yep, and that's what happens, unfortunately. Heat is the destruction of engines. So if you're not protecting your engine with good quality oil, or as we like to mention also, good quality oil and MOA, oil destruction happens very quickly and it's very costly. Remanufactured engines range anywhere between $5,000 and $10,000 installed. So unless you're ready to put that kind of money into your car, every oil change asks for MOA. I'm Dave Serio from WFMD's You Ought to Know, Saturday mornings, 10 a.m. Surrounding me, the Urbana Marching Band from Urbana High School, some of the members of the band. And, Mike, you kind of run the show a little bit today, don't you? I do. I'm the band director, just about to start my fifth year at Urbana High as a full-time teacher. Very good. He looks like a student, I know, but he is a teacher in this particular case. And you do a great job, by the way. We were here last year with you guys, and the band sounds fantastic. It is definitely an improvement all five years you've been there, and it's great to have a Dynamic Automotive involved in uh, supporting you. Yeah, thank you. It's been uh, a great couple of years working with Dynamic. They've become a part of our family and taking great care of us whenever we have fundraisers, and we send our people over here, and, and they get great service, so we love it. Now, it's tough because this is your fifth year, as you said. Mm -hmm. And, you know, these guys up and graduate on you and kind of ruin this whole band thing. So then you have to kind of start all over again with different clientele. How's that been working out well for you? It's well, it's, this past year was a big hit. We had a lot of great seniors, but every once in a while you get a, a class of freshmen that come in that really impress you. And these three over here are all <laughs> sophomores this year and came up as little eighth graders not knowing what they're doing. And that's the fun part is, is watching them figure it out. 
All right, so what, what grades are you in now, not knowing what you're doing? Who do we have here? My name is Stuart Walker. I'm in the 10th grade, and I currently play um, the tuba, and I'm a clarinet player as well. Very good. Multi-talented. Okay. Uh, I'm Neil Lakula. I uh, play basically three different instruments, uh, what are they? baritone, euphonium, and sometimes trombone. Very good. So you're just a brassy guy. Yeah. All right, there you go. All right. Uh, my name is Nicholas Gutierrez. I play right now in marching band baritone, and I play saxophone as well. Very good. Well, it's good to have you guys. They're going to be here today. If you see this before 1.30, they they're going to do a little bit of a preview of what they do in the Dynamic Automotive Service Bay. You're going to get a kick out of that. So come on up for the Dynamic Automotive Show, the car show today, 12 to 3. And that, of course, is at 8824 Urbana Church Road in Frederick. And keep in mind, of course, that the high school band will be here performing around 1.30. BG will be here with Big Bubba, and we also have Jasper Engines and Transmissions. Plenty of food, and it is great. Big Bobby Allen has been cooking for 24 hours to get the food just right. You're going to enjoy it. Dynamic Automotive's Automotive Car Show, today, 12 to 3.